Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. My name is Vijay and this is the last video in this series. So in our last video, we implemented the check and check functionality of our app. And now in this video, we will implement the remaining functionality, which is the delete feature. So first of all, go to your console, Firestore console, and click on go to go. Here, click on build and Firestore. Here in add and manage data, you can see the delete data. So to delete a document, we need to import delete doc. Now go to your copyright.js. Copy this. Paste it over here. But for that, we also need to import it over here. export it so that we can use it in another file. Let me save this and this one. Now let's create a function. function. Delete shopping app. back to the documentation here we can copy this since we are using a bit we need to make this asynchronous now we want to delete the document from shopping collection so we write shopping over here here we provide the ID which we get from prop .id. Let me just save this. And after we delete the item, we also need to fetch the data again because our, our list is refreshed now. So in app.js, let's also pass the get shopping list function as an argument in shopping item. Here we can call this function after deleting the document. Let me save this. Let's call this function on press event of this delete button. Let me just save this. And right now, if I click on button. As you can see it's gone we can also see it over here that button is no longer here let's try to delete x and you can see over here if i press on delete button of the x as you can see it's gone so basically this is how you can delete an individual document you need to uh, use the function delete doc pass the db variable then you could specify the name of your collection then the id of the document you want to delete and make sure to refresh the list because it gets updated now let's try to implement this delete functionality okay so here let's create a It is very similar to our get shopping list. So we just copy that and make this asynchronous. So after getting the query snapshot of this one, instead of so, uh, storing this in a state, 
we just need to use the delete function. So we traverse to this list where the snapshot holds the entire list. We map through the entire list. And if we go back to our shopping item, we have used the delete doc. We also need to import it over here. Delete doc and doc. And as you can see, we have used these over here so we can do the similar thing over here delete doc and we provide the doc.id let's rename it to item actually and here we can say provide item.id let me just save it so what it will do is that it will first fetch the list which we store in query snapshot and one by one we delete all the items we can also delete the entire collection but it's not a good thing to do because then then we have no collection left we cannot fetch data from anywhere so let's find out our delete button over here which is this one and here on press let's copy this function and call this function okay okay so here is our list so if i press on this hopefully our list will get deleted okay it get deleted but we forgot to fetch the data again so let me just copy this function call this number here let me just save it now as you can see we have no data in our item so let's add something let's say milk Let's say cheese. Okay. So now let's implement the functionality where it shows the number of items present in our list. So it's easy to do. We have a state called shopping list. We can just use that over here. And we can pass the length. Save this. As you can see, currently we have two. Let's add bread and three. I can check and check this. Even if I reload the app, it will stay like this. And if I want to delete the cheese, as you can see, it also gets deleted. So basically this is how you can create a shopping list app with react native and connect it to firebase and creating a fire store you can save the data into a fire store database and retrieve it at the same time you can check uncheck your shopping item you can also delete it and you also get the number of items present in your list so you can play around with this and improve our app you can also uh, improve a design you can provide multiple colors background images etc so that's it for this video and this series ends over here so thanks for watching this